I did it for the um, Game of Thrones party. So right now, I've got about 18 deviled eggs. Times the eggs by two because you're gonna split them in half. You fill up the pot with water until the eggs are covered. And then you put it on high, and then you wait for it to boil. Okay, now that it's reached a full boil, turn it off and close the lid. And just leave it there for about a minute or so. Now take it off and just let it sit there for about 15 or 20 minutes. So they've been sitting there for about 17, 20 minutes. Now, turn on the cold water and see out the hot water. Pour the cold water over it. Cut it in half without deforming its shape. I'm like slowly trying to take it out. And don't try a spoon, because most likely you're going to tear the outer flesh. Whipped dressing. Kind of has, or it's already seasoned, it already has its flavors in there. Horseradish mustard, teaspoon, fourth tisp. Uh, salt and I always say less is more so you can always add salt you can't take it away some cracked pepper I love pepper oh it just smells so good and I use rice vinegar a little drizzle and just fork it to death I saw Slav's grandmother using one of these to frost her cake and I was like, I need to get one. And like I said, don't worry about the interior because nobody's going to see that. And just fill it up like so. Okay, and that's it. We're done. I'm gonna garnish it tomorrow with paprika and chives because I let it sit in the fridge overnight to chill. And I don't wanna garnish it because, you know, stuff might like get all wet and wilted. So I'll do it the day of. And then we can bring these over to Chris. So I dusted it with paprika. I got some fresh chives from the garden. 